it's finally about time we talk about The Flash. So The Flash is a movie that's coming out that, that came out this year. And the big selling point was bringing back Michael Keaton's Batman. I just simply bought the movie to see what the hell they came up with. Like, what drugs were they on when they came up with The Flash movie? Okay. Or the fact that they decided to keep Ezra Miller in The Flash movie. But I think, we, I think only by that point, this movie was kind of like, you know... They said, you know what? F it. Let's release the Flash. Let's release this in feeders. Okay. I don't think Ezra Miller is going to be Flash anymore. Okay. He can't even hold his old movie together. Okay. At the box office, of course. Warner Bros. lose $300 million as a result of this movie flopping. You heard me right there. Flash to lose $300 million. I have not put any... Box office numbers for the Flash, but this movie needs to make around five hundred million dollars to break even, and it's nowhere near you know, the five hundred million dollars it needs to break even. Okay, it's still it still could be less money than Disney losing on Strange World. Obviously, Strange World was such a big financial failure that it, it, it lost over three hundred million dollars for Disney. Okay, but the Flash is going to lose three hundred million dollars for Warner Brothers. And I think this means the end of the Snyder DCEU. Okay. This movie was supposed to be the definitive end for the Snyder DCEU. We still have Aquaman, uh, you know, whatever it's that, uh, Lost Kingdom or whatever it's called coming out. But I don't think anyone's going to watch that either because Amber Heard is in it. And, you know, nobody likes Amber Heard. She's a horrible person and a horrible human being. Who the hell wants to watch anything of Amber Heard in it? Okay. You know. But again... That's like of, you know, Ezra Miller, Warner Bros. still right of Ezra Miller. Apparently, they want to say, okay, screw DC even more, and let's keep Amber Heard and Aquaman. Even though they delayed the movie as well, but they didn't delay, of course, fast, but they delayed Aquaman from its spot as well. So, as well. Heck, Suzanne Fear the Gods should have gotten the fastest release. And the fast should have just been cancelled outright. Because I think if the, if the Suzanne got a couple more bumps to make a slightly more competent movie, it will probably still did better than the Flash. Flash. Because at least the first Suzanne movie was really, really, really good for a DC movie. But the Flash, people, uh, it's like Ant-Man to watch Quantumania. People don't really like Quantumania all too much either. And this movie is going to probably lose a lot of money for DC. So Ezra Miller is going to lose a lot of money. And I don't see him staying as the Flash any much longer. Maybe just kill him in, you know, Aquaman The Lost Kingdom or something. Or in a, or just kill him off screen like they usually do with, you know, some of these stu- some of this stuff. You know, but Ezra Miller will, most likely will not be Flash anymore because... People don't like him at all. I wonder if Ezra Miller's crimes had to do with the Flash failure at the box office. This as well. But again, this remains to be seen as well. The Flash will lose $300 million for Warner Brothers. One of the biggest box office failures of all time. Besides Elemental, which is Pixar, which will also probably lose hundreds of millions of dollars for Disney as well. So yeah. The Flash is going to lose three hundred million dollars for Warner Brothers as well. So yeah, this concludes the most underwhelming box office week of all time. Goodbye.